Mm -mm, I just saw that. Cut that. Cut it off. Put the fluid in it, won't go and get like All these little pieces don't have to buy them on. Yeah. I don't know the lady might have that shit. I don't know that some of her had welded that shit. Here, taking it all loose now. Got down here on some flooring work. Had old pan just put down here on the floor plan, put it in so we ready to get all this out though because we got look like we got some rust work down here. We gotta go in here and repel. Then the other side taking them loose. Put the floor in there right. Yeah, you ready to get the floor in here right. Right. Shit done right. Yeah, you got the tap of shit, rusted holes on the bottom. We're gonna go in here and repair all this shit. Yeah, I got sheet metal on top of the sheet metal with a flow plane and screw to that. We're gonna get the right shit put in here. Get it looking like it's supposed to be looking, baby. So give me a minute, be right back with y'all the sex phase of this. Alright, big dog, this is what we got so far. We got to strip everything out. Check it out. We got the seats right here. We got the carpet, we're gonna remove carpet. We got the bubbles off. Some bullshit sheet metal that they had in there before we even got the car. See, this is the reason why we're taking all this stuff out. We need to see exactly where we're gonna be at. See the top right there? Now we need to see exactly what we're going on in here. And as you can see, all oh, this shit rusted out. This shit ain't no good. We finna repan, take some sheet metal and goddamn fix all the shit with all the gaps and holes at. We got brand new flow pan over there, put a brand new flow pan in here, get everything done, all lined it up, finna uh, get all these gear shifters, I'm still debating dog, the more I look at this right here, man I might put that push button gear shifter in here, have push button start, and put push start button start on it, might put push button on there too, I see too man, I hate it, thinking I'm gonna have to do it, but I'm not really wanting to. Uh, boy, I hate it, I gotta do it. Look like I'm gonna have to buy the whole convertible top motor and, and the uh, pumps and all. Along with the top, I'm glad. Fuck, we're gonna do it right, we're gonna do it right. Get the bad boy sealed in good. Oh, we got some pieces, you look at all this down here. See all that flooring. Gonna go in here and get all this shit cleaned out. We're gonna replace all that with some good steel. Cause the bar is still good. We got the, trend, the, the foundation frame, frame bar still there. We're just gonna get all this other eight up metal out. Get all this shit gone. Here before we go inside. Now I'm about to do all the cleaning. Get all this stuff cleaned up in here. Get all this shit out. Go inside and we about to take an inventory and see everything we gotta order. We're gonna order all the new shit. Thing right. Man, this car is what, 50, 51 years old. 51 years old, baby. 51 years old. Gonna make it right though. It's still turning wheels and burning rubber, boy. Hey, <laughs> goddamn Chevy, man. General Motors, baby. This goddamn Beard Skylock still got all the General Motors motors and parts and shit in the shit. General Motors seat belts on the shit. <laughs> It's older than me. Yeah, damn 1951. Trade. About to make it happen, baby. Progress. Be back with you in just a minute as we get cleaned out. Let you check it out. Oh, we're about to go in here in this trunk too, because we gotta drill this trunk out so we can get inside and look at the floor pan inside the trunk. See if we need to order one of those too. Saw the new action in now coming up. All right, big dog. What we had to do, we went inside and uh drilled a door lock. I'm in the trunk lock out because it didn't come with a trunk key. It got two sets of keys, but they both was ignition keys, right? 
So we went in there and drilled that out. Went on fat, fat inside the trunk. Got a little bit of rusted pan rusting right in here too. We're gonna replace all that piece in there. We're gonna get all this trunk pan fixed up. Got some in there, got some more back up in here. It looked like they had tried to do some bondo work. We go in there, we peeled all that crap out, got it all out of there. So we can see where we at. Also, uh, we got right over in here on the floor. They had took some junk. They had an actual four pan in here. But just screwed it down and took some old little cheap, cheap metal here and tried to go over the top. But we done took everything out of the bad boy, right? Got everything on it fixed down. Representative. You hear that? I'm gonna have the folks online now. I'm waiting to order in. I'm gonna order the floor pan pieces for there. We're gonna order the cross member bars for there. And we're gonna get over there in the corner, see where it's all at. Got the opening. We finna get all the pieces to wheel all this back up. Place all the pieces that need to be replaced. Yes, sir. Got 51 years 51 years old, man. 50 years old. Plus bought since the bad boy was built, so this shit over older than me. Got them front bumpers off too. SA 12s or 15s, whatever I put in the trunk will be beating like shit, so I'm gonna need to get that right. Replacing all this with the digital dash. Dakota sells the whole piece for that front dash. I'm gonna replace all that piece there. I'm gonna get it all together, baby. Stay tuned. Getting it all together. Took all that other flooring out that they had in there. They did some bullshit on it. They had some sheet metal in there. We went on in, we ordered all the side, new side panels in. We got those ordered up. We got all the floor pans. Got the cross member bars ordered up. Gonna put all the new cross member bars in. Got that floor pan up there in that front corner. We ordered a new one for it right up here. Get all that fixed up. We gonna order the pieces to fix up this A-puller down in there too. And uh, they were back ordered on the fenders, the two side fenders. So we got the fender side fenders coming and we're gonna weld in the sheet metal to fix all this and all the other weld holes down here. We're gonna go in and repair the trunk. But for the most part, then tomorrow, we're gonna start taking all these pieces out, get all this stuff sanded up, primed up, repainted. Hey, we'll do what we can do with it. You know, gonna make the best of it. But until we get all that done, it'll be all, we gotta go with what we can go. Just pulled up today. Man, it's like Christmas in May. How about your boy pulled up, and bam, I got all the parts right here been delivered. Well, not all the parts, we got majority of the parts. Got here a whole week too early. Cause they were talking about they were gonna be until the end of May before they got here the first of June. So now we got some of the parts for the 69 vert that we in the process of doing so y'all just be hold on man it, it, it's, it's finna go down bro i'm telling you just hold on no matter how bad things look it's still going down real tight in the vert y'all saw get the shit twisted now thinking the vert lacking and let's motor on the way being getting picked up right now up in Kentucky. I'll be fine. I'm gonna bag it in there. By the shop. It's gonna be our new spot right here. We're finna jack up, we're finna sit up on top of some blocks, right? And uh get everything prepped up. Right there, good. Yeah, uh-huh. Yes, sir. Got this thing all stripped down. As y'all can see, we finna get in here and start doing some welding. Flow pans coming in. We finna start putting in these fender quarter panels. Uh, we finna get them start cutting those out. We got all the tools over here, baby. We finna start going to town with her now. Get her jacked up and get all the stuff off. Get the body work taken care of.
But hey, y'all stay tuned. Got another video coming. More updates. See you then. Peace.